Hi everyone, welcome to Dolls in the Cradle. My name is Anne, and this little man right here is Ernesto. And Ernesto is the Chelsea Realborn from Bountiful Baby. And he was brought to life, which means he was painted, um, by Rosita's Reborn Nursery. I may have uh, got the nursery name a little wrong, but I know it's Rosita's. <laughs> Okay, so I am bringing Little Man on because um, I saw a comment on my video where I showed all of my dolls. And Joanna Lindley, you said that out of all the dolls, number two, which is this guy right here. This is, uh, this is Ernesto. And she said that she loved this doll the most. And so I wanted to bring him on so that you could see him again. And um, I'm going to be answering some questions. So you'll see a little bit of my, my computer right here. I apologize for that. Maybe I can bring it this way. Well, no, I'm just going to leave it right back there. So you'll see this part of my computer, but that's all right. Um, so Little Waddle Nursery has a tag that I saw today and there's a five it's a five question tag and I'm gonna go ahead and do this tag I think it'll be a lot of fun especially since I just showed all the dolls in my collection I think it would be a great time for me to do this tag which is my doll collecting style tag questions okay so here we go Let's do this deep dive. I want to preface by saying that this month, this month, February, I have been collecting um, authentic reborn dolls for three years. And also I have had quite a few Paradise Gallery dolls um, come and go in my collection for the last three years. And on that note, let's just jump into the questions. All right. Number one says, what type of dolls do you enjoy collecting? And I do believe from my collection that you saw yesterday, and if you didn't see that collection, you should go back and watch it. It shows every single solitary doll that is currently in my collection. And so my the type of dolls that I enjoy collecting are authentic reborn dolls. And um, that's exactly what this little boy is. And he is absolutely one of a kind and adorable. Number two, which best describes your doll collecting style? A, collecting dolls for the art purpose. Yes, 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 yes. Um, 100%, I do collect authentic reborn dolls for the art. I will never, ever tire of looking on Reborns.com and looking at all the different ways that a variety of different artists have painted these dolls. It is amazing to me how they can take a piece of vinyl, right? and paint on that vinyl and get it to look so realistic, so hyper-realistic. It's absolutely incredible to me. I have always been in awe of that, and I always will. Number, this is 2B, collecting different types of sculpts by the same artist. Uh, no. I do not ever, um, I have never in the last three years had one sculpting artist that I thought, oh my gosh, I have to collect every single uh, doll that they've sculpted. Uh, I am not uh, that type of collector. Um, I do.
love to collect more than one doll that has been painted by an artist. So if I find a artist that um, I get a doll from and it's painted amazing, right, and I love that doll, um, I will uh, look back in their nursery from time to time to see what other types of dolls they have painted and are coming out with um, because I know by the doll that I have from them, um, number one, that I like how they paint and I like uh, the representations that they've put on their doll. That is very, very important to me. Uh, number two C is collecting a complete series of dolls. Uh, absolutely not. I have no desire whatsoever to collect a complete series of dolls. Uh, two D is collecting dolls because their beauty appeals to you. Oh yes, 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 yes. Um, a hundred percent. That is why my preference is um, artist reborn art dolls because of their beauty. Oh my gosh. Um, sometimes I will look at some of these little little works of art that I have in my collection and I am just like, I am so happy to have them. I feel so blessed to be able to have them that I was able to bring them into my collection. I know that everyone is not as lucky as that. I get it. And um, so that even makes, for me, these dolls even more special. Um, because there are dolls that I can't purchase. Um, reborn art dolls because their price is way too high. And I, you know, I, I can't purchase all the dolls that I like that I see. But, you know, I, I am lucky enough that um, I am able to um, purchase authentic reborn dolls. Okay, two, let's see, two E says collecting dolls within a certain budget. And the answer to that is yes. Um, I do have a, a budget uh, now that I will spend on reborns for a year. So I've kind of divided that up actually into six months at a time. And so, uh, yeah, so that is definitely, I have to have a budget because sometimes I do emotional shopping and um, if I don't have a budget, I will get myself in trouble. All right, number two F says collecting dolls for the future value. And no, I've never ever purchased a doll thinking about the future value of that doll. Um, I love how Kitty explained her collection, especially with her vintage, uh, her vintage dolls. Um, and I'm sure that applies to her reborn dolls. She's a huge doll collector and has many different styles of dolls and brands of dolls that she likes to collect. But as for me, um, no, uh, <laughs> I purchase, uh, what I can afford, what I like, if I like the art, but I've never, ever purchased a doll thinking um, about their value in the future. Um, yes, they have their uh, certificate of authenticity. But I kind of look at it, you know, this is my pleasure for today. This is what I have. I don't have any daughters. I don't have any nieces. Um, I don't have anyone that's going to you know, take the time to look at these dolls and, and try to sell these dolls, um, really. And <clears throat> so I, I'm looking at these dolls as an investment for today, actually not for the future. So, yeah. All right. Number three, how do you interact with your dolls? Do you dress your dolls? Yes, I sure do. Um, role play, 
actually, yes, I do. Especially with my Cuddle Baby Reborn dolls. Oh my gosh. You guys all know, if you've been here long enough, that I'm, I, I love Cuddle Babies. Um, you know, I think there's like, some people hate them. And then you got people that absolutely love them. And I'm on the I love them side. And that's because I call those my working <laughs> reborns. Those are the ones that um, really, if I'm going to role play, I think holding them instead. Um, one of the things that I will do, it's a comforting thing for me, is if I'm upset or whatever, I don't even have to be upset. Um, if I just, a lot of times when I go to bed at night before I actually lay down, I, I have a cuddle baby in the bed with me every single night. And sometimes I will just hold that baby and uh, I even have a little bottle and I don't do it all the time. And there's only, uh, there's no milk in the bottle or anything like that. It's just a uh, um, I did make a video where I just showed you where I cut the nipple off and literally just put the um, polyfill in it. Um, that's enough for me because it's just, it's role play, right? It doesn't have to be, uh, <laughs> it's just for me. And I'm in the bed and it's just the act of holding the little one, right? Holding, it's the act of just holding the little one and giving them the bottle. And it's comforting because you're rocking back and forth and yeah, I love to do that. I do love to pat and pet and and and, and baby my dolls, <laughs> for sure. Okay, and what is the other part of that question? I'm getting a little sidetracked. Um, display them. Yes, my dolls are displayed. There was a time that I didn't. I was so scared with my art dolls that um, literally I would have one out, I would dress it, hold it, walk around with it, and then I would wrap it back up and put it in a, uh, a drawer. Um, <laughs> looks like a morgue. I'm sorry. It's like a dresser drawer. It's plastic. It's deep bin, so like three dolls can fit in. So yeah. Um, but now I've got um, shelves up, and as a matter of fact, I'm getting two more shelves put up on the wall tonight. My son's going to do it for me. So I'm so excited. And just having my whole collection out. So the only ones that are not out are my silicones. They are in the drawer and they will remain there if I'm not touching them because y'all know I'm very, uh, I'm not real comfortable with my silicones. Okay. So let's move on here. Uh, number four, do you hold onto your dolls for a long time or do you regularly sell them and replace them? I have, um, sold dolls. I have given away some dolls. So for example, let's, uh, move away from my, my reborns for a minute you know, I also collect Paradise Gallery dolls, but not to the extent that some people do. Like, I have had a lot of Paradise Gallery dolls, but those dolls, after I have them for a while, I kind of just pass them on um, until recently. You know, I got Dallas and if you don't know, Dallas is the snuggle bug from Paradise Galleries. And for some reason, that doll, I just absolutely fell in love with him, like super fell in love with him. And so he is not going anywhere whatsoever. And then I have Gigi. And then I have um, their latest little two dolls. Is it two? Two dolls that they put out? Okay, excuse me. Or, aww. That was so sweet, but no, no, ma'am. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Willow. <laughs> willow, 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 willow. Willow, 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 willow. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I love you. You're my baby, too. Mm -hmm. You're my baby, too. But you gotta get down, Mama. Get down for right now. No, no. All right. Uh, <laughs> Okay, my little kitten. 
Uh uh-uh, uh, don't touch him. <laughs> Hang on, y'all. Okay, sorry about that. Willow, I call her Wee Woo. <laughs> I have all these weird names for my cats. Anyways, all right, let's see. <laughs> Where was I? I'm. I know I was talking about Dallas. Yeah, I'm obsessed with Dallas. I'm obsessed with uh, the four or five. Do I have four or five? Anyways, y'all saw the dolls I had um, in yesterday's video if you watched it. So, they're not going anywhere at all. I would never, ever get rid of Dallas. He's not going anywhere. And as for the dolls I have in my collection right now, I don't see myself selling any of these dolls, but I can never say never because I don't know. If I see a doll that I really, 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 really want... And I've experienced another doll for long enough that I might move it out. I don't know. So I right now, after three years, after the dolls I have, I can actually see more dolls coming in um, in the future. But I don't think I want to give up any of these dolls. Um, in three years, these are the dolls that I've collected uh, from my, my video that I showed. And I'm really happy with every single one of them. And the last question, number five, what type of dolls do you not have in your collection that you aspire to one day to own? So what type of dolls? I don't have any other type of dolls. Um, I don't really want to have any other silicone dolls. And I, um, yeah, I just don't have any other dolls. The Authentic Reborns, these are absolutely the dolls for me. I used to have a couple of um, replica dolls, and as cute and as pretty as they are, um, I don't know. They did not do it for me, and I think it's probably because I didn't start with a replica doll. I started, you know, with an authentic doll. You know, Shara uh, is a good mentor. <laughs> and, uh, you know, my first authentic reborn doll was a Levi um, from Bonnie Brown. So I started with a bang. All right, so that is uh, the questions. And I just want to kind of tack this on to the end because I know that some of you have noticed that um, the dolls in my collection have changed where I did have a couple of replicas in. But I think that for every single person that collects dolls, that has dolls, um, each and every single person has to decide for themselves the types of doll that they want in their nursery. And sometimes people can only afford what they can afford. And even though I do personally like to support the sculptors and the artists, I understand that not everyone is in the same position to be able to do this. And therefore, I'm for everyone collecting what you want to collect. Have your own dolls on your channel. And for people that don't like it, don't go to those channels. If people that have replica dolls think that people that have only um, authentic reborns are um, um, snobs or, you know, uh, bougie, uh, don't go to the channels. That's all I can say. Don't come to my channel. But, uh, you know, and if you are someone that has authentic dolls and you don't like, um, you don't like replicas, well, don't go to their channels. But, you know, both sides, y'all don't need to witch hunt. Y'all don't need to witch hunt. It's crazy out there on some of these channels. And, yeah, it's, it's a shame. But guess what? Um, I'm not letting anybody steal my joy. I've got my little babies. I like what I have. And I hope that you got what you like and have and enjoy. 
And on that note, everyone, please take care. God bless. Have a wonderful day. May the peace of the Lord be with you, be with me. Remember that no act of kindness, no matter how small, is ever wasted. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, everyone.